Hey, how's it going everybody? It's your favorite cow. And welcome to Lab Cow. This is a series where I interview artists I've collaborated with to discuss their art, their lives, and their opinions on certain issues in their scene. And today, I'm going to be interviewing Andre Molina. He's a Filipino-American singer-songwriter hailing from the faraway land of New Jersey. I recently remixed his song Miami. Both songs will be linked in the description as always. So naturally, I reached out to him to talk about his music. Without any further ado, let's check out the interview. With the rise of like Asian Americans in popular music nowadays, how do you feel that artists of Filipino descent fit into that scene? I mean, this is just like what I think at least. Like I feel like we're right there in the forefront of it. There's a lot of really dope Filipino artists right now. You know, like Yeek and Diva Doobie, all these other artists just like Oh, we got Pilo too. Can't forget about Pilo. That are just like you know. I feel like they're the ones that are holding the holding the torch right now. You know what I'm saying? And like I feel like right now is the best time as an Asian artist and a Filipino, you know, to get in the game right now. Yeah, Viva Duvi. Yeah, uh, she recently came to New York, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw her. Man, that was such a good show. It was like one of my first concerts uh, this year, like real concert. Besides like Governor's Ball, but yeah. That was such a vibe. Like, I've been following her since last year. Her last record was fucking dope. Yeah, and usually, like, when I'm about to see somebody in a concert, I would just listen to their music for, like, a week straight. And after I see them, I probably won't listen to them again because, like, I'm sick of it. But, like, with her, it made me want to listen to them more. So, like, that was that was brief, uh, beautiful. Like, how, how was the concert now with, like, COVID? Honestly, I forgot about all that COVID shit. I was, like, I was just having such a good time. I had, like, few drinks i was really lit and i was on like the machine and i was just like jump into every song and a lot of people were like looking and they're just like damn this guy knows every song like that's why i'm at the show man like it was really cool how how are the concerts different from like new york to jersey that that you're from more venues i feel like in new york obviously because it's like such a big music community there's some in jersey city too um but I rarely go to shows here. It's they're always high bit in New York. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like you gotta be like somebody special if somebody's gonna come to Jersey to see you. You know what I'm saying? Another question I want to ask you is: so like nowadays, it's been a lot easier for artists to start a music career. Uploading music to streaming services has been easier than ever. But at the same time, it's saturating the market. Like, what are your thoughts on that? Um, I feel like it's a good thing because yeah, it does give more artists like you know opportunities to actually make a living off of music. And even though it's like you know saturated, I think it's possible. Yeah, I feel like we can all just like exist in like this artist world and still have fans and make a living out of it type type shit. So okay, so it's like yeah. I think what you're trying to say is like there's no reason to gatekeep. Yeah, yeah. And now with the pandemic, if you if you stuck through. And trying to be an artist, you're like, all right, I'm very serious about this shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> sure. I think uh, one of the biggest aspects of being an artist, especially a musical artist, is the visual, which is something that people don't really like take into consideration. It's like, for example, myself and, you know, you being a very fashionable person yourself, as I can see, <laughs> as someone who is quite fashionable, like, where would you place an artist's fashion sense in terms of importance in their career? I feel like, yeah, you obviously, I guess, have to have some type of flair and, you know, have some sense of style to, like, kind of stand out a little bit. But also, like, it's easy to overdo it also. Like, you sometimes you can just tell when people are, like, not as genuine. When you see somebody who just has that that star quality, like, that flair, you know what I'm saying? You get drawn to them more easily. And, uh, yeah, everything is, everything is real. What would you say would be some of the criteria for flair? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, for me, I guess like tattoos, I can not necessarily a designer, but like, I don't know, some cool jewelry. I just got this new jewelry yesterday at the spot by uh, Koreatown and they're all like super cheap, but they're so dope. Got a little elephant right there. Got a snake to match the snake tattoo. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't know. It's have like a certain type of aesthetic. I like to just express myself in everything that I do. So I think a lot of that translates with the way I dress and stuff. So do you think that has to have some sort of connection to the music that you make or it could be separate? I think not always. Cause like, like I know exactly what you mean. Like I've seen like 
I, w- I would hear like a new song like from a new artist and I'm like yo this is really dope and like I start to picture what the artist looks like and then when I see them I'm like whoa like you don't look like what you sound like this is crazy so I guess that that's special in itself I guess also so well, but you fuck with the juxtaposition of it yeah I fuck with the juxtaposition of it yeah I don't think it really that much like matters that much like you you would definitely put like obviously the music's got to be number one you know yeah like <laughs> always happy the music yeah gotcha all right it's time for the speed round yay everyone's favorite part question number one musician you'd love to play with dead or alive uh for uh, miguel it's the first one i'm gonna have right now correct because i love miguel <laughs> question number two rings or piercings rings mm-hmm. correct <laughs> vanilla or chocolate vanilla soft serve correct. all day correct <laughs> uh low register or high register low register I'm not a singer and I don't want to be. And I don't think anybody wants to hear me sing. So, correct. Musical genre, people would be surprised you listen to. Oh, a lot of EDM. A lot of EDM. Some hardcore shit. (laughs) Is that what people would expect you to be like jamming to? No, because I look like a super alternative dude. A lot of, I feel like a lot of people think that I listen to a lot of rap. I actually don't listen to rap much at all anymore. But yeah, just because of my image. But yeah, EDM, baby. (laughs) <laughs> some head ba- some head banging shit favorite drinking game ah uh, cup correct favorite fruit pineapple correct i lost track what question that was <laughs> I, think, I think that was number seven uh... <laughs> nope or we're on question number eight question number eight boneless or bone in chicken i am vegan but uh mm-hmm. i always like the bone in when i used to eat chicken like, because I don't want to eat chicken with a fork. You know what I mean? Like, I want to, like, clean the bone and shit. <laughs> yep, that is the correct answer. That is the correct answer. All right, question number this many, nine. Sweet or savory? Savory. Correct, correct, correct. All right, and last but not least, favorite farm animal? Cow, baby, come on now. <laughs> I respect you so much because everyone <laughs> always takes so long to, to answer that question. And I'm just like sitting here like, what like, the, like, like, what the, what the, like, what the fuck am I? <laughs> All right, man. Thank you so much for doing this interview with me, man. Um, anything you want to promote, shout out, uh, the floor is yours. Go for it, man. I got a remix EP coming out and I would love it for you. Oh, actually, it will be out right now right so yeah by the time this video comes out it should be out yeah but i have a remix ep coming out of my song miami it's out now listen to it fur is on it he fucking killed it he's like track number two and yeah a lot of dope artists on it follow me on spotify instagram at andre molina gang have a great thanksgiving and don't go crazy shopping in black friday (laughs) <laughs> all right thank you so much to andre please check him out all of the links to all his stuff will be in the link in the description as always and yep and i'll see you guys next time yeah yeah, yeah. that was fun <laughs>